Hello, my name is Justiniano Alves. I'm a software engineer building mobile apps, web application, and I'll build uh, AI agents to help a small business like yourself. Uh, I'm very happy you find this video while you are searching to learn more about the AI agents. So that's why I'm not going to be focused to convince you how AI agent is so great because I think you already did your homework and that's why you find a video like this. So I'm going to try to focus as much as I can to provide all the great information that's going to be very helpful for you to build your own way AI agent. Okay, like I say, I'm going to start from scratch so you can learn step by step. And then if you have a question, you can always reach out anytime and I will be able to help. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to build one AI agent to help manage my social media account, mainly my Instagram consulting account where I share information like this. Try to connect me with more uh, with a more uh, professional like myself around the, 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 the social media and also some business that I want to help with my service, okay? So without further conversation, I'm going to just dive in uh, what this video is for and share as much information as I can about how you can start to build an AI agent, okay? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an application on the meta because this is very important. In order for your AI agent that you're going to build whatever the platform, in this case, NA8, you need to have... Uh, access to the Meta API and access to Meta API has to be through this application that I'm going to create. So then you can use this API to respond comments, to send a direct message to the customer and other things you can do. There's a lot of possibility, but the first step you have to create this application and through this application, you're going to be able to have access to those API. Okay. Uh, if you don't know what's API, API is application interface language. Basically, is the is the URL that uh, follows some instruction. You can call those URL, and they gonna do exactly what you wanted them to do or what they are programmed to do. Okay, that's just the very simple uh, explanation what the API it is. But if you want to learn more about the API as well, I will create a video to explain you how to build your own API, which is very important. OK, but OK, let ju let's just dive in what we need to do in this video uh, without me talk about everything. I'm going to just be focusing. But if you don't want to learn more about anything around this AI agent or anything more in detail that I mentioned this video, let me know in the comment. OK, OK, I'm going to share my screen with you here. So let's just dive in here, Sh share my screen. OK. OK. So as you can see here, I have a I have a, my Facebook developer account. I uh, already have a two three apps: one for staging, one for the price that it's live, and I have a Vero Pelo AI agent, which is one also I already built for all the business that I have. And today we're gonna build a new one. Okay, so let's just refresh. Okay, like I mentioned to you, I'm gonna build this uh, AI agent to help manage this this account. Okay. Um, it's JI Consulting, my professional uh, online account for my service that I provide, mobile app, web app, and AI agent, okay? As you see here, okay, I think, um, okay, I can go to the, uh, let's see if I can show you, uh, go to the business. So you can see that I have a business portfolio here as well. So this is very helpful. And I think you should have one as well, okay? Let me switch to the business. This is J Alves, but I think this page is not associated to the business, to a different business, which is totally fine. Okay. Okay. So first, let's create the app. Are you just here? I'm just click create the app. Okay. And then here you just give the name of your app. It's J A Consulting AI, because that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to leave the email it is, as it is. Okay. So there are so different many cases where you need to build the app for, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to, not going to explain which case when you need them but for this case that i'm going to build you just 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 choose others okay and then you click continue okay <coughs> and, and, <coughs> and then here <coughs> you have to choose consumer and you have to choose a business for your case instead of consumer and then you click next 
Then it's very important you choose a business that has been verified, okay? So I have so many business portfolio, but I'm going to choose the one in J. Alves LLC, which is belong to the company, which is LLC for the company that I'm doing business, the JA Consulting. Okay, I'm going to just click, click create the app. Very simple process, as you can see here, to create the app, okay? And then when the app has been created, I'm going to show you some base configuration that you have to do in order for things to work, for this AI agent to work, okay? So now I just create the app. So now go to dashboard. It's very important. Oh, actually, I should go to the app settings, okay? So, okay, good. Let's go to the app settings. So you have to put some basic information here so your app can go to development mode, okay? So now if I try to go development mode live, if I try to go live, it does not allow me at all. So, okay, because you have to put some base confirmation. Okay. And then I'm going to see if I can uh, put the logo there. Okay. I think I have a one here, but let's see if it allow me. Oh, it does not. The logo that I have does not meet that sp specification. But also that's very, that's very easy to, let's see. Okay. That's very easy to resolve it, and I can resolve that right now, as you have with me. Uh, and then let's say uh, Elvis, but it's not it's it's not that important. I can I, I can. Uh, so I'm gonna use the same for the privacy everything. I'm gonna use the same that I have for my business, okay? Because this is very important. In terms URL, I think I'm gonna use the same, okay? I, I think I, I think it's the same. So I'm gonna use the same here because these are very important. Okay, uh, that the deletion. So if you want to delete my data, reach out to me through my website. Okay, category category. You can put a bit. I think you can put a utility or productivity. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I think the rest of the information is not very important. But if you want to put it, you put a this J Alvis Consulting. Okay, and app domain, I'm going to put a jalvis.com. This is, but you don't have to fill out all of them. As far as I know, it's very important is the privacy policy. I'm going to click change. Okay, and after save, it's all, all, all the things that it's very important. You have to connect that to the business that has been verified by Meta. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to try to go live because you need to, your app has to be in a live mode. So, uh, privacy URL. Oh, okay, that's uh, what is this? Cannot contain uppercase letter. Okay, good. J Alves Consulting. Okay, let's save this thing. Make sure you save it. Okay, and now to save, I'm gonna reload. Okay, it's saved it. So now it's good. So now I can try to go to live mode. It's very important to be in the live mode for you to start to build your AI agent. Otherwise, you're not gonna be able to do that. Okay. So now, as you see, we just waiting. It's gonna, it's a, it's a processing. So now my app is live. Okay, you see, my app is live. Since we not, we are building this app first to help us uh, interact, to help us with our Instagram account, to let's say, to auto reply on the comment and to interact with all direct message that it's coming to us. So now, what I'm gonna do, you're gonna have to enable. To add Instagram to your app, you're going to say this app is going to have all the permission that he can have to interact with Instagram account. So this is why I'm going to go here uh, to, to, to add Instagram a product to the, my app. Okay. And then one thing you have to do next, which basically which account, which Instagram account you are going to be allowed this app to interact with. So, okay, so now I have so many. I think this is the one that I'm gonna allow. So I just have to put my fingerprint here to allow my password. Okay, so let's make sure it's logged in. Okay, bear with me one second. Okay, I got the security code because I like always to enable two factor authentication on my social media account. Okay. Okay, so I didn't get the code yet. Bear with me one second. Why I didn't get the code? I um, didn't get the code. Security. We can resend it. Let me just say, click resend to see if it will be fast. Because this is important. This without this step, I don't know why I didn't get. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm I'm on a airplane mode. So that's why. Okay, so now I have it. 
So it's going to be 739836. Okay, so I'm going to confirm. Let's go to the airplane mode again. I don't want no one to call me because I'm making this video for you. Okay. So what's going on? I'm putting the code, but it's not going through. So it's 739. Oh, 739. I missed one. 936. Okay. Okay. Bear with me a second. Okay, save it. Okay, I'm allowed, I'm allowed to assess my message, everything. So I give that app access to this Instagram account, okay? So now what you have to do, another thing also I want to, you don't have to do anything for now. So now let's give you, let me explain you here just to recap. You have a create your app. You have a set up uh, your app. You made it there live because it's very important. And then you have add an Instagram account to your app. So then you can use this Instagram account through the, your AI agents to interact with your, uh, to use API that I can interact with your internet account. This is all this video that I want to cover in this video. So now the next step, what it's going to be, log into an AN, NAN, to start to build this uh, automation workflow using with the AI agent integrate to take care of your social media. Okay, stay tuned for the next video.